We're uh, here at a project we're doing in Colican Bay right now and this house has actually been designed to come very close to the passive house standard uh, which is recognized as the most energy efficient building standard in the world at the moment. So one thing we're quite excited about uh, at this stage is that we are now blowing what is known as dense pack cellulose into the wall cavities and that's being installed for us by Island Basement Systems. This is a company of Chris Schmitz and they are based out of Victoria so they're a regional uh, installer as well. And the thing that excites us about this product is that um, it is recognized in green building um, circles as uh, probably the most energy efficient um, and environmentally friendly uh, product. It's kind of a, you know, strikes a great balance between those two things. Um, foams might have a higher R value per inch, but they introduce a lot of chemicals uh, into the environment during their manufacturing. Bad insulation such as fiberglass or rock sol, uh, while it has a similar R value per inch, uh, it's harder to install as, uh, effectively, so the R values actually suffer in a real world situation. Dense pack cellulose, it kind of looks like dryer lint. It's very soft and fluffy, it's not itchy at all or anything like that. Um, and that actually it's 100% recycled paper. So they'll get um, paper from all kinds of sources, um, anywhere they can, and uh, they just recycle it into the product. All installations also require um, some means of um, deterring rodents and pests and fire, and that's required by the building codes. So the products used in dense pack cellulose are quite benign. The main product is actually called magnesium sulfate and it's similar to the product that they use in fighting forest fires and the reason they use it there is because not only does it um, deter fire spread but it's actually also a fertilizer. So it does have a bit of a smell and a taste that's quite unique but um, it's not harmful at all to humans. Um, and the other uh, elements that are in the material uh, is a cornstarch. And the reason they put that in is that when the product is installed into walls, it actually reacts with the ambient moisture in the air and uh, it, the starch sets up like a bit of a binding agent. And so what that helps do is uh, prevent the insulation in the walls from settling over time from small vibrations from traffic or um, you know, seismic movements or um, even just building occupation. It's especially good in our kind of wet coastal climate uh, because the dense pack cellulose has a really good ability to um, absorb moisture during the really wet seasons and then allow that moisture to escape uh, during the dry seasons. So a lot of insulations don't have that kind of flexible ability to sort of self-regulate, whereas dense pack cellulose um, is really good at that. Uh, the dense pack cellulose can be uh, installed in any dimension. So you might have a double stud wall and depending on what your requirement for the R value of that wall is, you can simply move those two walls apart and the dense pack cellulose can accommodate uh, an infinite number of wall sizes, whereas bats are limited to uh, you know, uh, specific manufactured dimensions that you have to adhere to. Uh, another reason it's great in a super insulated wall assembly such as this is that super insulated walls have a really hard time drying out. There's simply not as much air and energy moving through a super insulated shell as there is in a code built house. In a code built house you have a layer of insulation but there's not that much so a fair bit of heat and energy moves through that wall and it will dry that framing out uh, quite easily over the course of the year. Super insulated assemblies let almost no heat out so there's very little energy moving through the wall to keep it dry so it's really important to have an insulation that allows vapor uh, to move directly outside or inside depending on the season and the conditions. As you can see uh, in this application, we're just installing it in the walls. In the ceilings, we're doing a conventional loose fill insulation system. Um, so it's basically the same product, but it's not packed under pressure. It's just blown in and it kind of settles itself out. So the basic process for installing the product is quite simple. You uh, take this uh, spun bonded mesh and they staple it all along the framing across all the faces of the studs and the top and bottom plates and they completely cover a wall and uh, you've got to place your staples very tightly because it actually is put in um, under quite a bit of pressure. So once that's stapled on, they simply take a, a hose that is connected to um, uh, kind of like a blowing hopper with a shredder built into it. So they have uh, big bags of the product, they feed into this hopper, it shreds it up 
and blows it through this hose. So all you have to do is uh, you cut a little slit um, in your mesh and then you just jam your hose in, you feed it down into the corners. They have a handy little uh, trigger device here that um, turns the blower on and off. And then uh, it just forces the material in. And you can really watch it and see it fill up into your cavities and see exactly what it's doing and make sure that it's actually filling things properly. Uh, and then you just pull your hose out and you feed it in from the top and blow above and you can do a series of pulls up and down a wall uh, for tall assemblies. And you just, uh, you just blow it into the corners and then you test it for density simply by um, pushing on it and seeing how much the mesh bulges out from the wall. You get a real sort of sense um, as a contractor or an installer if you have enough density and it's pretty easy to tell when it's uh, a little bit light or even overpacked. Overpacked is okay. Uh, a little bit underpacked is not. So you go around and you kind of feel the walls and, and then you just highlight the areas that need to be refilled. Uh, and it's quite quick, quite simple. Uh, it's surprisingly not that dusty once they start installing it. Um, the material is fairly heavy so it falls to the floor quickly and it's not irritating at all. Like you could be in a house all day with them blowing this stuff. I haven't coughed once. It's not required to wear um, respirators through WorkSafe. Um, so yeah, it's it's a pretty easy product to be around and work with. Well, thanks for watching our blog. Uh, make sure you check back often to our Facebook page or our website. Pheasant Hill Homes is always doing lots of interesting things and we're always trying to challenge ourselves and come up with more energy efficient techniques and more interesting uh, architectural details and yeah, great projects. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks.